What's up, YouTube? Seven. Another day of life. Blessed week of this challenge. Me and Eddie got going. So I bought some things. A few things, as you can see. Mm, bought another one last week. So let's see what it is. Let's get into it. Let's see what's in the box. And in the bag. What's in the bag first? Let's hope I didn't rip anything. Who can it be? What? It's a book. Ooh. One page marketing plan. Looks like a good book. I bought that book. Um, I got some discretionary money from this program my job has for walking. Yeah. So you do a certain amount of steps, you get paid money so I had a little bit extra money I said you know what I'm gonna just buy some books I love books I've been reading books more often and it's the best I it was a bit of a transition to get into started reading but it's the best it's the best uh, habit I could have developed this year that and eating healthier meal prepping so let's see what I got in the box boom this box is heavy. Woohoo! Let's do it. Yeah. Boom. Shoot. How to shoot a video that doesn't suck. By Steve Stockman. That one's by Alan Dib. Woo! One million followers, huh? Let's see how good this works, but I don't have an Instagram. But marketing, I'm trying to start a business one day. Contagious. What things to catch on? Joanne, uh, Jonah, Jonah Bur Burger, Burger, I don't know. Burger. Jordan Belfort, Way of the Wolf. I'm a wolf. You're a wolf too. You can't be. Magnetic marketing by Dan S. Kennedy. And this book, what? Oh, I already got my other book. I think I got it yesterday. Anyways, huh. How to build habit forming products near ale. So the reason I bought all these books, I love reading now and I wanna grow and I wanna expand my um, knowledge. I love to read. And I believe these are things that you could cherish forever, um, every word. Now, two things I wanna talk about in books that I've began to realize since I've started reading. Number one, what a book does for you. It causes you to focus on one thing. You're just, you're focused on the, the words of the book and Nothing else, it's you and the book. So I believe it 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 levels anxiety, it um it's worry, any problems that you're having, when you pick up a book, they all go away because you start to focus on the letters that you're reading, the concepts that the the author's giving you through the words on the book, your your overall focus shifts from whatever your focus is on to the book so what happens is that the whole world becomes closed out to you and it's just you and the book and whatever you're you're worried about in the outside world is just gone and now it's just you and the book and you're engaged with it and I love that about books because before I would always have my mind on something I would always be on 10 things at once I would be on it would be on relationships different places that i was at and not relationships with girls i mean just relationships with people and things like 
be at work, it'd be at church, it'd be at <clears throat> school, it'd be at my family's, what's on social medias, and what I'm going to eat later. And my mind would just be a cluster, it'd be all over the place. Now, whenever I pick up a book and I start to read, um, I realize that my mind is very um, focused. It's very involved in one place and what happens is that when i'm done reading the book i'm like thinking yes mom yes you sure thank you oh you can put them yeah right there so yeah when i'm reading that's what happens and let's see here number two would probably have to be let's see here number two is probably the fact that when I read a book, there's something special about this person who wrote this book. He might be 60 years old. She might, oh, it's with Ryan Hoover. Anyways, he, she, whoever it is, might have 30 years of experience on whatever it is that they're speaking about. All of these books have certain wisdom to them. They have stories. Each book, each person wrote stories with things that work and what didn't work and whatever um they're writing about so a book could take you to a million places experience way beyond your time and it's a going dialogue between you and the author telling you what works for him and whatever he did so if you get a cookbook you're gonna learn about cooking things that you've never experienced before but a chef who went to college went for 10 years um, experience in college will tell you what works for him and what doesn't work for him so you just take a huge shortcut say a business person for 10 years was studying business and went through so many failures you don't have to experience those failures the person writing the book has experienced them already and is telling you what works and what doesn't work so I also learned that I learned a lot of things um, relating to relationships with people um, friendships, habits, and all of that. And I've experienced them to go better just because of the fact that I was able to sit down and read about it and experience first hand, um, um, third person as to what that relationship, understanding that they went through it and I could understand and maybe even put myself in their shoes and understand, you know what? Th this person is probably very right on what he's saying and he is right of course he did go through it but how can i make it to the point where i'm almost even empathetic of it and like um saying i'm in that position now now it's very real for me and i'm gonna make a change so my life can be better in that regard so i don't have to experience exactly what they went through but i can now succeed from their successes from overcoming it because I did put myself emotionally and mentally in that situation. So I got seven, two, four, six, seven books in the mail. I got two yesterday. I bought them all with money that I got from um, my incentive program for exercise at work. It was a discretionary income. And I love this. It's a great investment because books their wisdom and I love that also since I've been reading books I try to read uh, the Bible more than I read all of these books I read the Bible about I begin reading the Bible and then I make about 10 20 minutes 30 minutes a day I try to make 10 minutes get this out check this out I try to make 10 uh, five minutes 10 minutes I end up doing 30 minutes of reading these books so it's addicting and I love it because come on it's a good thing so anyways with that being said hope you uh, buy some books read them follow through with it and um yeah right now i'm reading the effective executive i'm about halfway through it and i love it i'm loving it and i want to read it again i want to read it a few times so god bless take care peace out read books